What is going on my broskies? My name is Totski back again here to bring you guys yet another One Piece Treasure Cruise video and today we're back with some more GARP challenge rehash. Of course with the 14.1 update all of the GARP challenges have been reset so you got to go ahead and beat all of them with different colored teams. So we're going to start things off against the white bid challenge with a mono strength squad. So with this team we're using the ace and Yamato captain because they can resist bind, they can resist special bind. Uh, main reason for them being here is because of the special bind so we don't have to worry about that at all um, and the special bind isn't really that big anyway it's three turns of special bind on the Hara on the Haruto stage uh, you know a lot of units you could use to remove special bind it's kind of whatever Vivi Rebecca are really really good in this content because of the Jozu stage being able to remove increased defense and rainbow shield completely they generate a chain lock every single turn you can also get pretty good color affinity with them as well and Anel is fantastic for this stage as well because he does allow you to remove paralysis attack down and chain lock I believe it is. I believe it's Chain Lock, which are all things that you get inflicted with on the second last stage against Marker and Vista. But due to the sheer power that characters have these days, getting through these mini boss stages is significantly easier than when this content first dropped. You know, when this content first dropped, like I think we're around, you know, that that three times to, to four times attack boost kind of captains and nowadays we have potentially up to like a six times attack captain that you could be using these days. So. You know, this content is actually pretty easy to get through. Most of the times, captains will kind of carry you through it, um, which is kind of nice. We do have Nami Karina here as well. They're just kind of here to fulfill certain roles. If we need to use a special, we can use them. Same with Kid. You know, if we need to activate their special, we can use it but not really a required thing for, for this team to actually have success. One thing I did kind of overlook in a couple of these teams is the slot bind that occurs on the final stage. But again, due to the sheer multipliers of captains these days, not really that big of an issue anyway. Moving on to our second team is going to be our Dex Focus team. And once again, we're using pretty much half of the same units that we used in the previous team due to the fact that Ace Yamato and Vivi Rebecca are both Dex and... Uh, strength dual units we can just use them on two separate teams to get through the content and yes you can definitely build you know a team of dual units that is all strength and dex to get through it but you still have to clear each of these garp challenges specifically uh, four separate times so due to that it's just it doesn't really matter like you kind of just have to go through all the colors anyway so i'm not really that phased about that at, at any point but uh anyways looking through to this team the difference is we do have law we do have corazon should i say uh corazon is fulfilling the role that anel did in the previous uh in the previous clip due to the fact that he does have the ability to remove uh attack down paralysis and chain effects all with one special ability so that's the main reason why he's here we've got Zoro and Sanji to generate that attack and all boost every single turn we can also use a super tandem every single turn as well um, due to this effect and then we do have the dex super tandem Luffy just because we wanted a Luffy on the squad to fulfill you know super tandem requirements and stuff it doesn't really matter uh, Luffy is not needed at all Zoro Sanji realistically is not really needed at all either but all of these units work really well together and we have absolutely zero issues getting through the Whitebeard stage with this team Moving on to the next team is going to be our quick team versus the white bid challenge and we're going to be using Uta as our captain with a friend captain of the redhead pirates. So with this team composition we are resisting 10 turns of special bind 
10 turns of special reverse and 10 turns of paralysis so we're resisting a bunch of debuffs with these units all combined Zora and Sanji of course they're phenomenal effects we can have um, for for getting through a bunch of different uh, debuffs here now we do have chopper on the team main reason why he's here is just to have a support to remove attack down that's literally the only reason why he's here Nami Karina again just because they're a great unit that we can fulfill a role on the team with they're not really needed at all the other random character we have here are the Kuja Pirates which is a free-to-play Kizuna Clash character the only reason why they are here is because they also remove uh, five turns of increased defense and five turns of percent damage reduction. So we can use that on the Jozu stage to get around those specific abilities. And that's, again, like kind of like the only reason why they are here, to get around those two defensive effects that can be relatively annoying to get through. Cool thing about Uta, of course, is we get that massive attack and orb boost for Cerebral and Shooters that we can carry through multiple different stages, which is great. And the two switch effects of our two dual units here is actually really strong too, because it does enable us to generate um, like a full board of slots every single turn, which is fantastic. Uh, and you do see that we have a bunch of different effects here with like the with the paralysis is removed, the special bind is removed. We do have like the, the nasty chain lock, but it's not really that big of a deal. We can just kind of go through it. Realistically, you should have used Shanks crew before reaching the Marco Vista stage. Would have definitely worked a lot better. And now we have our side team. Now, I wanted to go ahead and use Stampede Luffy for this content. Um, Stampede Luffy is really, really fun to use. He has a bunch of cooldown reduction, which is not really important for this content at all, but he does resist paralysis and despair as a captain. So with this, we don't have to worry about any of the paralysis that will be occurring here. I did actually make a little bit of an error. I completely forget that the Sai Uta doesn't remove special bind with her cremate ability on herself. The only way that she actually removes the special bind is if you use her special ability before you get inflicted with the special bind you see my reaction when uh when i got inflicted with that special bind completely overlooked that mechanic so if you're using this team use uta before the haruta stage to get rid of the special bind so it's not really that big of a deal anyway i just take an additional turn of stall here i believe just to make sure that i can actually use a special on the next turn now to remove the defensive effects against jozu we have the egghead sanji which is able to remove those effects for us and then of course when we move through we basically are getting rid of most things here like it's just pretty easy to get through uh for, from here on out there's not really too much we have to worry about like slot bind is not really an issue either on the final stage and we're able to do plenty of damage against white beard and ace on the final stage And then we have our final team of the video, which is going to be our Int Focus team against the Wiper Challenge. And for this team, we're going to be using Double Int Uta instead. Now, as for the rest of the squad, we've got Nami and Karina, uh, Nami and uh, Carrot, should I say. They're able to remove Special Bind for us, which is great. We do have Robin and Jinbei, which is able to remove a bunch of defensive effects and Special Reverse, and they're just a good unit to have. Baccarat is incredibly good here. So Baccarat, back in the day, was like one of the key units for helping you get through this content, mainly because her special ability gets around every single debuff and component on the Marco Vista stage. Gets around attack down, paralysis, and chain lock all by three turns. Don't really have to worry about paralysis anyway because we do have Uta as our captain, but Barkarat also generates an orb boost, so that's honestly pretty cool as well. The other thing about using double Uta here is that we can actually use Uta really early on in this content and have the three turns of the turn progress activated effect. Once it expires, we can activate a secondary Uta and again have three more turns of massive attack and orb boost for our Cerebral units. Now we do have this Sugar on the team as well. The Sugar is an older treasure map rare recruit who does remove three turns of Rainbow Shield and Blue Shield. Literally the only reason why this character is here. So that's fantastic. And then of course the attack and orb boost from Uta will basically be carrying us through most of this content, including the final stage. So thank you very much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to go ahead and leave a like. And if you want to stay up to content with uh, all the One Piece Treasure Cruise content that I upload, make sure to go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. I'm that guys. I'll see you guys within the next video.